Uh, yeah, it was a pretty long day yesterday. I flew from Mildura and then waited around the airport in Melbourne for a while. And yeah, we moved in with um, Liam Duggan and Jacko Nelson for this week, and they're, they're really good. So everyone's been really supportive so far. In a key position, play, how do you feel about the fit at West Coast? I've oh, been able to learn off two of the best key position players, like Jeremy McGovern and Josh Kennedy. Kennedy will be awesome this week. So, yeah. Have you got a chance to. Uh, I think I'm more of a key forward, but I think I'm, I'm happy to play anywhere, and I'm, yeah, I'll see how we go. It must be a pretty harrowing experience in a draft, particularly a draft like that where you, your draft range is almost anywhere from 5 to 13 or 14. How, how was it sitting there waiting for you? Um, I had a fair indication. My manager said probably wasn't. it was more of a midfielder's draft this year and they, they would fill up the top 10. And I knew I was in the range from yeah maybe 10 to 20 and I yeah, wasn't, wasn't sure where I'd get picked up. And I was, I was pretty shocked. I think I would have been shocked to get picked up anywhere. It was probably a little bit early in what I'd heard in the media and stuff. So, you yeah, know, it was awesome. And did West Coast talk to you much before the draft? Did they um, interview you a couple of times? Yeah, uh, at Combine, had an interview, and then uh, when I went back to school before exam started, I yeah, they came up and had a good chat. So. Um, funny you've ended up at the same spot as Oscar Allen. I think you played on each other in the All Stars game. Yeah, exactly. I was playing on him and having a good chat with him. He was pretty relaxed during the game, so no, he's a good fella. Can't wait to start get training with him. Um, it's an interesting time you come to the club, isn't it? You mentioned that Josh Kennedy and Jeremy McGovern are here. What do you try and learn off them? Uh, probably how they how professional they would be, and uh, their their like little things they do to become a better player. And learning of Jeremy, how to I'm a similar player. I like to intercept, mark, and defend that way. And learning the way he does it, that'll be awesome. So. Have you had a chance to um, to meet any of the pro yet? Uh, met a fair few few of the younger boys last night, and. Walking into the club, said hello to a few boys. So yeah, they've been really good so far. What does Simo have to say to you? Uh, when I was up at the draft the other night, he was just uh, went out for dinner with them, and he was just running me through what what the load would be like this week and what to expect and stuff. So yeah, he's a really good fella. What's your expectation on yourself? Um, this week, I think yeah, a bit of skills this morning, and then yeah, I'm not not too sure what the go is after that. But yeah, I'll wait and see. Are you hopeful of playing AFL footy in the first season? Yeah, I think so. I've, my manager said clubs would like to see me like playing first round one or early next year and not yeah that's what I am to do so yeah. watching from afar what's your idea of the Eagles what do you know about them what are your thoughts going into the club uh, well I follow them since I was about six years old so I know a fair few players here so it'll be probably a little bit easy to remember everyone's names but um, yeah they've been pretty successful over the last few years and then yeah, they've cleaned up cleaned out the list a little bit this year so a lot of young players coming in and yeah it'll be good to get started is it talk about your 2017 a bit, Jared, but how did you rate the season? It seemed like you played a couple, two or three or four really outstanding games. Maybe more consistency is what you're looking for in the future, do you think? Yeah, through the Nationals I played two good games and two not so good games, but then I played a lot of school footy as well, so a lot of people on the outside wouldn't have wouldn't have seen those games, so that's probably uh, one thing. But then went back to the Tuck Hub and played a good and a couple of bad games as well, but... Um, yeah, consistency coming into a full-time program. I haven't really been set into a program. I played with six or seven teams last year, so we're getting into one program and training with the same blokes every day would be, would be good for me. What, what, the, what physically do you need to work on, do you think, over summer? Uh, probably my aerobic capacity and um, being able to keep up with these boys. I think that's that's the main thing I'll be working on. Being a country boy, um, coming to Perth, maybe a little bit more relaxed, um, apart from obviously going, maybe going to Geelong, it's a yeah, it's awesome. I was pretty shocked at the start, but when you think about it, it's a, it's a great place to live. And um, yeah, it's probably not as full on as Melbourne or Sydney, especially with the footy and uh, the amount of people as well. So I think, yeah, can't wait to get started. Where are you going to be staying to start off with? Um, with Liam Duggan and Jacko Nelson this week. And then um, my fa family will come down on Thursday for a couple of days and have the induction and stuff. And uh, then with the host family, I'm not sure who yet, but with the host family starting next weekend. I know it's early days, but what does the club do to help you make that adjustment coming across and then you just want to be able to focus on training and footy, um, the sort of infrastructure they've put in place to help you do that? Um, I think just meeting all the, all the coaches and stuff the other day, that was, that was really good and they gave a good background on what it would be like moving across and they all said they, they loved it. They've all had different stories coming from different places and moving over here. So, and they said it's a great place to live and then uh, supporting my family and stuff, I think They've been really good with them and Serge, um, letting my family know all the details and getting them involved at pretty early, like coming over on Thursday, so that'll be good. And your parents, your family, when you were drafted, they were um, you know, happy for you to come across here? Yeah, I think so, yeah. They knew I supported them, so uh, they were pretty shocked that 
took a little bit to take in um, moving across the other side of the country, but yeah, they'll get over here a fair bit. They're very supportive. So.